The project came about through funding from local government New South Wales through, through their roadside vegetation grants and given that the Bathurst copper butterfly is an endangered species and high profile in the region, it was an obvious choice for us to do a project that was improving the habitat and hopefully the population of the butterfly. So the butterfly is a really unique species. It's only very small, the size of about your thumbnail, 20 mil across. And it has a really unique symbiotic relationship with a small black ant. So when the butterfly lays its eggs, once they hatch, the ant takes the larvae or the caterpillar down into the ant nest and it protects the caterpillar. In return, the caterpillar produces a nutritional secretion which feeds the ant. The ant takes the caterpillar back out to feed on the Bessaria or the native blackthorn every day and then takes it back into the nest to protect it. Because the butterfly is so small, it doesn't travel further than 10 metres from the Bessaria host plant and only found in very few sites. A lot of the remaining sites are in roadsides because they've not been affected by grazing or cropping. And so even a small area of cleared land or land that's kept as grass can really affect the area of habitat available for the butterfly. It's easy to understand how these things have become endangered. The Bessaria, it's quite a thorny plant, so it's been regarded as a weed by some people, so that's also contributed to clearing of habitat. One of the management issues we face is that it's a rhizomatous plant, so it actually spreads from the roots following disturbance. If there's no fire or no removal of the plants for any reason, you don't get those regeneration effects. The main project was controlling the weeds, specifically woody weeds as well, because butterflies need sunlight all through the day, and shading from woody weeds such as pine trees or hawthorn can affect the habitat. So this site's uh, where we took out most of the large pine trees and you can see some of the stumps behind us here. It's pretty obvious this side of the fence we can manage the habitat, the other side we don't have any control over. The current state of the project site is we've removed approximately 90% of weeds across the whole 26 kilometres. There were some lessons learnt from this project. A lot of things took a lot longer than we initially planned. Traffic management can add a lot of cost, so we found that particularly with the woody weed removal we had to close roads and that added some significant costs that we hadn't originally budgeted for in the project. Monitoring of the butterfly is quite difficult because the populations fluctuate year to year. Without that funding, the project would not have happened at this time. Roadside vegetation is becoming increasingly important for councils and councils I think are becoming more aware of the issues. Monitoring will continue for the life of council and we'll get around to checking all of those sites but it will take several years before we actually realise whether the population is increasing.